tags on Euro nymphs. Red, pink, orange, they get all the love, but this green tag jig is money. You gotta check it out. The green tag, or chartreuse, or yellow, whatever you call this color. It's a fish catcher. This is a great fly for caddis season, where there might be a little, a, a lot of little neon rollers or neon caddis pupa that are kind of kicking around. So the fish will key in on this color a lot of times in the summertime, so you should have some in your box. <clears throat> anyway, this is another fly by Lubos Rosa. He's on the Fulling Mill Ambassador team. Very experienced uh, tournament angler, so so we'll tie it up. Okay, so this is just a, a size 14 with a 3.5 bead on it. Now, anytime we put a bead on a hook, that doesn't mean that's how it's supposed to be tied. Um, you can put whatever bead you want on it uh, to match the, the depth situation you have going on. Okay, so this, this fly has a little tag made out of this glow bright, and... I want the body to be fairly thin and uniform, so I'm just going to tie this in. I've just taken one piece and I've doubled it over like this. Once once I have a few wraps, I just pull all those back, flatten my thread out, and then I just wind it back and it creates a nice little uniform body. And we'll take the tag and we'll trim it about like that the body on this one's super simple it's just silver thread this is 0.1 millimeter from Semperfly and we're gonna just tie that up the body you don't even need a lot of taper we're gonna keep it thin so it cuts through the water really well Just like that, and then we'll coat it with a little bit of resin. This is Solar as medium. Uh, I really like this, or not medium, it's Solar as thin. Uh, I like it because it's a little bit thicker than the bone dry. Super, super, super durable. And you can kind of create a nice uniform body with that. <clears throat> All right, so the, the soft tackle on this, if that's what you want to call it, it's just going to be CDC. And if you're tying Euro nymphs and you have some decent CDC like this, you don't need to use a whole side of the feather. If I come in here and I just grab about a fourth of it so I can get, you know, one fly out of that side and maybe another fly from these feathers up here and uh, all the way down through the feather you should be able to get maybe four flies for per CDC feather depending on which fly you're tying but that's enough CDC to tie a Euro nymph so I'll just make a, a quick loop close it off and tie in the CDC so with this loop uh, my favorite dubbing twister right now is this little CNF design top twister. So stick it in there. And I'm going to adjust up my CDC before I twist it. So I'm just going to trim off some of these long ones and trim it up against the loop a little bit. So once our uh, CDC loop is turned we can just wrap that on tie it off and as I'm saying this I want you to stop right now and go subscribe to our channel or else I will not finish this fly I'll sit here and wait I have all day Curtis told me to say that no just kidding I said it too go subscribe all right so I'm just gonna take some black ice dub dub it on really fine I'm just gonna jam that right here behind the bead and then whip finish so anyway this is a super simple fly 
uh, similar to a lot of the others that we've done. It's just a, a Euro fly that, that works really, really well. Um, I like it during caddis season. Finish it off with a little bit of head cement.